Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny. Today we're going to be making a very short analysis on the Dortmund game against Bayern Munich. 1-0 to Bayern Munich, taking the lead in the Bundesliga and a real chance of winning the title. Before we get into that, keep your eyes out for our new collaborators on the channel. Henrik Jensen, the under-19s coach from Midtjylland, has already produced us a couple of pieces of work focusing on the pressing formation from Atalanta against Parma and also the build-up play from Borussia Dortmund against the pressing from RB Leipzig. There's going to be more collaborators in the near future, so keep your eyes on that. Now back into the analysis from the game against Dortmund against Bayern Munich. We're going to analyse the Bayern Munich press. Starting by looking at the teams, Borussia Dortmund had a few players out injured. Witzel couldn't make the starting lineup, and the Englishman Jordan Sancho on the bench. A 3-4-2-1 system in defence, they switched into a 5-4-1 and then attack the fullbacks or the wingback getting really high into that 3-2-4-1 situation. Bayern Munich lined up with a 4-2-3-1. In the defensive phase, they switched into a 4-4-2 and then in the forward phase, in the attacking phase, Davies, the left back, moving higher than the right back Pavard. Muller, Nabri and Komen often switching positions in the attacking phase. Starting then straight away with the Bayern Munich press, we're going to take a look at the tactics board to start with and the goalkeeper with the ball. I've highlighted Brandt and Hazard, the two just playing behind Haaland in those half spaces in between the Bayern Munich players. When the ball comes into the right side of centre back, that's when we're going to take a look at the movements which Bayern Munich incorporated in order to press the ball. To start with, we're just going to pick the ball up here with the centre-back and talk about the way that the players are pressing and the way that they wanted to force the Dortmund players to play inside where then they would have superiority in the middle of the pitch. So here we can see that Nabri is arcing his run to try and press the right-sided centre-back and prevent any pass coming into Hamiki. Lewandowski is there with Hummels preventing the ball from coming into him and also blocking off any pass into the left side of centre-back. Muller coming in with Delaney is also preventing him from receiving the ball. So now that leaves the centre-back with few options and he decides to bring the ball forward. We're going to talk about the other players who are going to come into view. So when the ball's at the centre-back and Nabri arcs his run to prevent the pass coming into the right wing-back like we already mentioned. Now we're going to see that Muller comes in with Delaney and also Kimmich is going to come in with Delaney preventing him from playing forward into the middle of the pitch and also the other sided centre midfielder goes with number 8 from Dortmund. This then allows Brandt to come in inside into that middle channel to be able to receive the ball. When the pass then comes into Brandt it was a bit lucky but the pass comes into his feet and he's then got position on the two centre midfielders who have pressed out with the centre midfielders from Borussia Dortmund. So the freedom to play in that space from Hazard and Brandt is what really gave Borussia Dortmund opportunities in the first half. When the ball did come into him, he dribbled into the right-hand side of the pitch and that was the key for Hamiki to now move up, leaving Nabri higher up the pitch and leaving a three against one situation in this side. So here we can see that movement then from the two midfielders from Bayern Munich pressing onto Delaney and Oud. Muller also high up the pitch trying to block the passes coming into Oud. So when that ball does come into Brandt, he's goal side of the two centre midfielders from Bayern and he brings the ball into this side. Haaland in the shot now, I love the way that he moves, he's just going to move straight behind those two centre backs, force them back and therefore prevent them from moving onto this side and creating more of a shift across and a numerical superiority or equality. So now we can see that when Brandt comes into this side, there's a three against one. Davies is 3 against 1 now. Nabri hasn't got back with Hamiki. We can see that Kimmich is trying to get in with Brandt, but there is definitely a numerical inferiority for Davies. So Davies comes across, and now Hazard has got the opportunity to run in behind and receive that pass from Hamiki. Many times this happened in the first half when the ball wasn't actually given, but this happened on quite a few occasions and allowed Dortmund opportunities to score. So with that high press with Bayern, then became a mid-block press. Bayern Munich lined up with a 4-4-2 
with the wingers Komen and Nabry coming inside to try and prevent Dortmund from playing inside, trying to force the play on the outside where they could then jump out and press. On this occasion, when the ball came into the midfielder, watch number five, Hamiki, move up the line and try and get in front of Nabry. On this occasion, Nabry gets back in, not like the previous occasion when they were pressing higher, slightly higher up the pitch, Nabry couldn't get in, leaving Davies in a three against one situation. This time when Nabry gets back, Bayern forced them to play backwards. And on this occasion, the ball comes into Delaney, Kimmich comes with him, and then the midfielders would all then slide across. As soon as that ball comes into Delaney, Guerrero moves forward to try and receive the ball in behind the high defensive line from Bayern Munich. That's how they tried to attack using that second switch of play using the wingers. Here we can see that example with the two strikers and that midfield four. On this occasion, Guerrero comes inside to try and receive the ball and play inside, whereas Brandt drops onto the wing. However, the important thing here is to recognize that when the ball is in these central areas that they would try and then play wide into their wing backs. On this occasion, like I pointed out, Nabri would then go with Hamiki, recognizing that this play was happening. So when the ball arrives, instead of Davies being left on his own in a three against one situation, he's now one against two. Davies doesn't need to come out because Nabri has dropped in. And because Davies doesn't need to come out, he can maintain that distance away from his centre back, Alaba. Hazard, therefore, can't make the most of the distance. If Nabri hadn't dropped back and Davies would have had to press out, this large space would have existed in between the centre back for Dortmund to try and make the most of. When the ball gets played backwards now, we can see that Bayern are lined up in a 4 4 2 system. And then we can also see that the Borussia Dortmund players are now occupying that space in behind the midfield line, creating a five against four with the defense. So as soon as that ball has come backwards, the left wing back Guerrero looks to make the space, attack the space behind the right back Pavard. So when that ball comes over, there's a three against one situation, like on the opposite side previously with Davies, three against one with Pavard, Komen needs to get back into support but doesn't. As a result, Dortmund are able to get forward, pull the ball back into Brandt and then take a shot at goal. So in conclusion, when the high press from Nabry forces Borussia Dortmund to play inside, that movement from Brandt allows them to then create three against one situation on this side. When Nabry doesn't get back with Hamiki, there's obviously a three against one situation or three against two when Alava comes shifting across. However, when Nabry does get in to defend from that higher position, getting back in to support Davies and having to shift across, they're able to force Dortmund to play backwards. However, that, like we already mentioned, is the trigger point to be able to play the ball into the opposite side over the back of the defence from Borussia Dortmund, from Bayern Munich. We hope you liked the analysis and hopefully we'll be making more soon, so keep an eye out for that and also for our new collaborators who are joining us. Until next time, goodbye.